the fam, that's what they call me I promise that you never be lonely Be the fam, that's what they call me I promise that you never be lonely It's your boy, oh, oh, big fucking juicy. And before I start this video off, I just want to say that I do not condone drinking and driving. I do, don't do it. If you're drunk and you need to drive or go somewhere, call a friend, call a family member, fucking taxi, Uber, all that bullshit, all right? Don't condone drinking and driving. But I'm going to tell you a story about me drinking and driving. But just because I used to do that shit, don't mean you have to do that shit, all right? Stay sober. Be fucking positive, all right? Anyways, this is a story about me and D. The first time me and D met, we went and drank. And I never drank in my life. I never drank at a bar in my life before I met him. Never drank in public. So anyways, this is the third, fourth day I was working with him at work. We were on this press we called the A6 at where I worked at the time. And, uh... We just got to telling, you know, if you watch some of my older videos, you I tell stories how we met and, you know, all that good shit. Well, we were shooting stories back and forth one day, and uh, he was like, hey, after work, we should round up a bunch of guys that we work with, and let's go to the bar. So we're asking people around and shit, let's go to the bar, let's go to the bar. Well, nobody wants to go, so D's like, hey, let me take you out, just me and you. I was like, all right. I was like, let me ask my mom, because I rode with my mom. I was like, hey, mom, I'm going to go to the bar. She's like, all right, be safe, whatever. So me and D go to this place. It's called the Underground at the time. This is like three, four years ago, I want to say. Eh, maybe not that long, three, four years ago. I just turned 21. I'm 24, so yeah, about three, three, four years ago. And uh, we start we start drinking and shit, playing pool. I mean, after one beer, I'm fucking... I'm fucking trashed, like literally fucking blackout trash. If you don't ever drink, I mean, I never drink, so I got blackout fucking drunk. After that, I remember fucking, we fucking, where the fuck did we go? We fucking went to McDonald's, but as we're driving to McDonald's, we're by the ho this hospital where I live. This motherfucker fucking side sweeps a fucking car almost, pulling out of a fucking stop sign, like of a like a one way stop, and he's fucking coming this way, and there's cars right here, and he fucking goes to turn and fucking side swipes a fucking car almost this fucking close. I don't remember none of that shit hardly. That's what I do remember though. And then I remember we go to fucking McDonald's, right? This motherfucker has an old, beat up, piece of shit, green ass truck. Fucking barely wants to start. It's a piece of fucking shit. D, I know you're gonna watch this. That truck was a piece of fucking shit. But we had memories in that bitch, dog. For real, homie. But anyways, we're at fucking McDonald's, alright? And we're fucking ordering. I'm fucking plastered. I know he plastered. He had like six more beers than me. Fucking plastered drinking and driving, alright? All I remember is we paid her, right? So we're, he paid or whatever. We're behind this fucking car and on Damien's old truck, if you didn't keep your gas on the pedal when it was in park, it would fucking stall out. So we're drunk as fuck. And you know, he's probably mashing on the, I remember him mashing on it a little too much. Like, rah, 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 he's revving the fucking engine and shit. This fucking lady in front of us, I remember, fucking opens her door, gets out. This is at the one where you pay at a McDonald's drive through so the first window. She gets out. She's like, hey, asshole. And we're like, who, us? And she's like, I got a fucking two-year-old in the back. Damien, I'll never fucking forget. Damien sticks his finger out the window. He's like, fuck you, bitch. And fuck your fucking kid drunk as fuck. Craziest fucking story, dude. Oh, my God. The fucking good old days, dude. But remember, don't drink and drive. It's not cool. Don't fucking do it, all right? Young and dumb and full of cum. Don't fucking drink and drive. I'll never forget. He was like, fuck you, bitch. And fuck your fucking kid. Well, what the lady didn't know is that you have to have your... It was really cold. It was in the winter. And his truck will stall out if you don't keep constant gas to it. So we really couldn't explain it to that lady. She just thought we were being dickheads and like revving our engine and shit, which... Yeah, she's got a kid in the back. Probably shouldn't have done that, but you're drunk. You're, your mind is altered. You're not thinking about that shit. So, fuck it. I, 
I thought it was funny as fuck the next day. But anyways, after that, <clears throat> we fucking, where did we go after that? Oh, we went to this bitch's house for D for to get some pussy. This is before all the things, man. It was crazy. So we go to these chicks' houses. They're fucking twins, okay? They're fucking twins. Well, it turns out I went to fucking high school with them. They're fucking twins, okay? They're a little younger than us. They're fucking twins. And I remember we go to their house. And Damon's like, this lady's having edibles. She's cooking, like, cookie edibles and shit. And and her mom was just chill with her. Her mom was just sitting there. And her mom left to go to work and shit. Damien's like, he's like, you want some edibles and stuff? She'll give you some edibles. I was like, fuck yeah. I was like, I'm not going to fucking pass up edibles drunk as fuck. Bet, bitch. So I was like, give me some. This bitch comes over and hands me four fucking cookies. Four fucking cookies. And I was like, I was like, they're not very powerful all day. And she's like, she winks at me. And she's like, no, nah, they're not powerful at all. And I was like, okay. She's like, don't eat them all though. I was like, fuck it, watch this. So what does my dumbass do? Never on pot before, never took edibles before in my life. I fucking eat them all because I'm hungry. I think they're just regular, <gasps> regular cookies. I'm drunk as fuck. I don't remember their edibles by the time I got to the second one. Because I'm high as fuck. I'm drunk as fuck. All I remember is D went upstairs. He said he fucked that first bitch. And then I remember he came back downstairs. He's like, all right, I'm going to go do the sister now. So he goes back. He does the fucking sister, bro. It was fucking funny as fuck. And I was just sitting on the couch chilling because I had a girlfriend at the time. So I'm not about that life. I had a girlfriend, so I'm not, I'm not doing nothing like that. At least I think I had a girlfriend. I'm not too sure. But anyways, all I remember the rest about that night is as I did not go to bed. We got there around 10.30. The edibles kicked in. I'm already drunk. <clears throat> I remember watching The Simpsons. I thought I just watched a couple episodes. But I was so fucked up. Damien comes walking down the steps. He's like, alright man, let's go. It's fucking daytime out. It's 7.30 in the fucking morning. He's like, I gotta go to work. I gotta drop you off at home. I'm like, okay. I was like, what the fuck happened? I was like, I literally... I watched seven seasons. Seven fucking seasons of The Simpsons. In fucking eight hours, apparently. Or overnight. Binge watched them and never quit. Fucking crazy as fuck. Never, never in a million years have I had a night like that again. Fucking nuts. But then he goes to work, drops me off at home. That's the first time we ever went out and partied. So, crazy ass fucking story. Hope you guys enjoy it. Remember, it's your boy Big Juicy. Remember, always stay juicy, all you motherfuckers out there. And uh, make sure you guys are staying safe during this coronavirus stuff. Take it seriously. Don't be an idiot. Don't be that fucking guy. Wear a fucking mask out in public. Don't fucking, you know, infect other people. So, uh, remember, always stay juicy, motherfuckers. Peace.